Hello everybody, welcome back to my gaming review today. I want to talk about the uh, Nintendo 64 and why I kind of gave up trying to collect more games for the system. Now, the only game I really own for the N64 is 007 The World Is Not Enough. Because I got it for a cheap price, it was like $25, which is still pretty pricey, but I got the game for $25.99 at a game place. Now, I have looked for N64 games. Mario 64, I've seen that game go for like $80. 80 bucks for Mario 64. I've seen Super Smash Bros. go for like 70, 80, 50, um, around there. I've seen, um, Smash Bros. for the Nintendo 64 and Mario Kart for like 50 and 60 bucks. I've seen the the memory expansion just for the system going for like eighty to seventy dollars online. So the reason why I've kind of given up trying to collect for the Nintendo sixty four is just how expensive and pricey the system really is. Um, there is some cheap games out there. But all the games I want are very expensive. Even Mario Kart 64 is like 50, 60 bucks. Um, the games for this console are super expensive. Um, out of all out of all my game systems I have in my collection, this console is really, really expensive to collect for. It's it's expensive to get memory expansion. It's expensive. For some of the, you know, games I really want to get. Um, I saw Bad Full Day go for like $100. Really want that game. You know, I want Bad Full Day. I want Mario Kart 64. I want Smash Bros and all those games. But they were just too damn expensive for the Nintendo 64. Um, but so far, I've just pretty much stuck with 007. This was the cheapest game. Uh, I am going to look for other cheap games if I can find them. I think like NBA Jam is like 20 bucks which is a pretty good price for that game but still the nintendo 64 collecting for the system is expensive um playstation 1 playstation 2 nintendo wii game boy playstation 3 um those systems are all very easy to collect for the atari 2600 the 7800 you know i have a lot of systems i own to have a whole bunch of games because they're easy to collect for. Um, <clears throat> you know, I, I just got two Japanese PlayStation 2 games, and both of them were either like 10 bucks, and I think one of them was like 20, but they weren't like badly priced games um, for what I was getting. I got a NES game that was like 8 bucks. Um, I've gotten Nintendo Wii games, and also I got like Wii Play. Also for like, you know, 10 bucks or somewhere around there. Um, but when you look on eBay or other sites, games for this console specifically are just very, very pricey. Um, I do want to build my collection. I do want to have uh, more stuff for my Nintendo 64. But it's going to take a long time for me to even, you know, get the games I want. Because Bad Full Day, again, it's like a $100. And even more, um, you know, even uh, Super Smash Bros. for the 64, it's pretty pricey. Uh, Pokemon Stadium, I saw that game for like $100, $90 on eBay and other, and other websites. Um, so, even though I do like this system, it is just very expensive to collect for. And, you know, I, I've kind of given up trying to collect for this system because it's just... It's not cheap to collect for the N64. Um, the console itself is usually like 150 bucks to like $200, somewhere around there, just for the console. But for the memory expansion, for the games, for the accessories and all that, it's pretty damn pricey. I mean, if you want a N64 with memory expansion, Super Smash Bros, Pokemon Stadium, Bad Full Day, if you want games like that with a 64 console, you're probably going to be paying like 
somewhere around there, probably like the price of a PlayStation 5. I'm not even joking, because if you add it up, it is pretty damn expensive for the games that I actually want <laughs> for the console. Now, I'm really happy because I do have one of my favorite games on the system, which is 007, The World Is Not Enough. Um, this game is fantastic. It's a blast to play. Um, I love playing it, but, you know, just to get Pokemon Stadium and uh, Bad Full Day, Smash Bros, and games like that that I really want to get, ugh, it is so damn expensive. You know, even the original N64 controllers are actually pretty expensive as well. Um, so anyway, this is just the video I want to make for today. Hope everyone had a lovely day or night. Tell me in the comment section below what you think about how expensive um, N64 really is to, you know, collect for and actually get games for and accessories. Um, I am going to try to find some cheaper games to get, like NBA Jam and some stuff like that. But, <clears throat> you know, tell me in the comment section below if you if you know any games that are pretty cheap um games are like 10 bucks i can get for the n64 games are like 20 bucks um and also tell me what are your favorite nintendo 64 games if you have actually played the system and also tell me if you are somebody who wants to get into the nintendo 64 and actually um play the games for and actually collect for the console but warning to everybody out there it is very expensive. For the people who grew up with the console and actually still own the original 64 with all their games, you are very lucky because it is very difficult in 2022 to actually collect for the system and actually get games for the system and a memory expansion. Ugh, it is ridiculous how expensive some of this stuff is. But anyway, I'm going to end the video, so I hope everyone enjoys. Leave a like. Again, comment down below what you think about how expensive uh, Nintendo 64 stuff really is and tell me again what are your favorite games for the system and you know tell me if you are somebody who wants to get into the 64 but maybe it's a little too expensive for you too but anyway I'm in the video so peace why are you so expensive